Hello, this is Tamara, and welcome back to Unboxing the Doll World. So today's video is different from an unboxing, finally. <laughs> I love doing unboxing videos, but I feel like I gotta mix it up a little bit for you guys. So today's video is an idea I had about 2 a.m. about a week ago, and it is a tier system, which is obviously not new to YouTube, but I think the new part, and I couldn't find anything else that was like this, is that I created a list of every single brat style, girl's brat style, that was ever made, and I put it in a list. And oh boy, is this list long. Let me show you if it will turn on. I have my other phone. I use it to do stuff. So, this is it. This is the list. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. It was a long project. I can't 887, but the last one, I don't have the pride brats on here. I think I'm just gonna add it for the sake of it. So I'm gonna say 888, which is kind of cool, Atlanta 888. So the only ones missing from this list are the basic styles because a six dolls because they are replicas of dolls that came out in the past and the 2002 second edition funk and glow because i think the clothes are pretty similar to the first and um that's the reason i didn't add it so it's 99 percent girls the only time there's boys is that they're the secret date or the winter dolls that also come with the little brats but yes so because of the nature of this, I'm actually going to be just writing it on the poster board and then in the corner I'll show you the doll that I'm talking about. But the categories are Grail, Runner Up Grail, Third Place, Forgotten, um, They Wish, and Just Know. So those are my categories. Um, I picked Grail because I talked about this before. Everyone has their Grail doll, the one that they most seek. And I'm going to put, if they're my Grail, this is an opinion one too, but I'm also kind of going to think about what other people would think to put the doll as, but mainly this is my opinion, my ranking. So if you want to comment what you guys think, you're more than welcome. I want to do 50 dolls today. You don't have to watch the whole video. If you do, you're awesome. But I really want to go through and see what I get and where I can place them. So I need to write kind of small though. <laughs> But yes, so without further ado, oh, so wait, <laughs> without, what I'm going to do is I'm doing a random number generator and it's going to give me a doll and that's when I'm going to place them on that board. Probably should have said that first. But now without further ado, let's start. Okay, I'm going to fix my hair. Um, so let's see, the first number I'm going to get, I did a practice number and I need to add eight. So let's do that. So... This is the practice number, and it was the one out of 887 without the pride doll, so they're at it now. So let's generate. Let's see what we get. We got 759. So my 759th brat is, let's see, 759 is Black Friday 3rd Edition Megan in her second outfit. Oh, by the way, all... The list was created by Look and Bratz, like not by them, but I got all the information from that site. Check them out. If you want any information on Bratz, like they're your go-to. And I'm just giving them credit because obviously I use them to make this list. So um, they're very good about pretty much everything. There's dolls I've never even heard of and they have it on that list. Like they did their research. So it is going to be, yes, Black Friday. Megan, second outfit. Obviously, I have it in the corner, but I have to look at it too to talk about it because I obviously don't have all these memorized. So this is 2013 doll. It was Black Friday exclusively at Walmart. Obviously, they're meant to be discounted dolls. In my opinion, I think they're actually quite cute. I know like um, 2010 and kind of beyond, people are not as hip about these dolls, but... I love Megan in general. She's absolutely stunning with her red hair. They usually give her like the very pretty like face prints. Like overall, I think she's a stunning doll. So she has kind of a like um, floral top. It's like half like 
not ha it's like half sleeve she has red pants i don't know what shoes she has but um again a very basic doll but still very cute and for a discounted doll i think it's actually quite nice and articulation is not a thing for most of the brats so that's not something i'm going to take in consideration i don't know how much these brats sold for though um i'm going to guess maybe around ten dollars if it's anything more i'm a little disappointed but i will go with third place for her so i'm gonna write her down and then i'll pick the next one okay next is 578 i hope these are not all top numbers because that will kind of get away from the originals <laughs> that are kind of like the best so 578 ah my list okay 578 is I gotta find it. Ah, okay, 578 is 10th anniversary Lydia. So obviously 2010. Um, let's see, let me find her. I think I have an idea. I remember what she was. She I love all the 10th anniversary dolls. I think they're all quite pretty. I know again some people are very hit and miss on these dolls, but Hold on. I was trying to see if I could pull this one up pretty quickly. Lydia. Lydia. Um, not... I have her in corner again, but... Um, all these photos, again, are taken from Looking Brats. So, she is... I can't tell too much about her, but I like her jacket. Um, she's got a beautiful face print. Um, it's, I like the fur in the jacket. I don't really know how much all these dolls sold for too. I remember when it came out, I was in high school. I still secretly like check them out because, you know, I love brats, but I was saying to buy them. So let me know what these dolls came out as. Um, I personally like all the 10th anniversary too, and I think they're all quite unique. Um, obviously they were a little more like trying to suit to parents because they were all a layered look and trying to look more like conservative. But I am going to go with her as third place. Okay, we'll do the next one. So generating. Oh, I'm getting too many high numbers. Okay, 696. I hope it's not only high numbers. Uh, okay, 696 is... If it's only high numbers and I do this video again, I'm going to cut it at 300 instead so we can get some of the um, earlier dolls. Again, 696. I have the memory of a goldfish. 696 is Funk and Glow 3rd Edition Jade. I have this one on top of my head because um, I own her. So she's pretty. I like her green dress quite a bit. Um, there's not much more to it. Obviously, it has the glow thing because it has the plastic under the skirt. The only thing I don't like about these dolls is you literally cannot dress them in anything but a dress because they have that plastic mold at the, like, waist down to, like, closer to the knees. So, you're kind of limited on these dolls. They don't come in any other outfit. They come with a few accessories in the box that go with the whole funk and glow thing, but... I I only own it because I got her in a bundle. Would I go out of my way to buy these dolls? No. Um, they're pretty. So I wouldn't say just no, but they definitely wish they can be um, in the um, lineup. They're just not there. So I'm going to write that down and I'll come back. Okay. So I'm thinking at this point, if it's all high numbers, I'm going to cut it at 300 at 25. Because I don't want this to be all just later ones. Because I know a lot of people are going to think. I think most people agree. Like the earlier dolls are like the better ones. So okay. I'm going to generate again. Oh 123. Okay. Good. It's not a super high number. Um, that'd be amazing if I get one. Because it's obviously going to be one of the originals. Um, so 123 is Hollywood Style. Phoebe. I have this one on top of my mind too. Um, this one also came out in 2000. 
should be 2005. Should be, yes. No. Wait a minute, I didn't put the date on this one. <laughs> My apologies. Okay. Anyway, um, I think they were 2006 then. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I think she is quite pretty. I love the dresses for this line, and the faces are quite pretty too. I have them because I, I had Megan, and then I bought Yasmin because she was pretty cheap. Um... But I don't think this is a bad line. Is it one of my favorites? Not at all. Um, I think out of any that are the more like memorable of this line, whether it be um, Dana or Katya. So I'm definitely putting Phoebe as... I'll be forgotten. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm hoping I get another kind of lower number. 93. Okay. 93 is going to be Tokyo Go Go Jade. So <laughs> this one, I won't even like, I want it to go like, too long. She is definitely a grail out to me. Like one, she's extremely like expensive to even get. So like if I get my hands on her, one, I want to get her cheap, obviously. I'm not paying 400 for her. And she is just stunning. <laughs> like I obviously love Tokyo Go Go. You can see I have three back there. I have Tiana because I have the Tokyo Go Go like dance floor. So I only need Sasha and Jade to complete this collection. It is my favorite collection of like, it's probably my top five. Like I absolutely love this collection. But Jade and Sasha are, I think are the most stunning of this collection. So Jade is definitely a grail for me. <laughs> so she is going on that list. Okay, let's see what's next. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I just thought it was the most random idea. Um, okay, generating again. 616. Let's see who that is. Some of these I obviously know on top of my head. Like, obviously I freaked out when I saw Jade. I'm like, hell yeah. Um, 616 is Masquerade Bratz Odelia. I definitely have to look that one up. I'm sorry. I know Masquerade. I know for later ones, Masquerade is more of a popular one. But they all kind of look the same to me. So I apologize for anyone that's really a big fan of the Masquerade dolls. I do know a lot of people really, really like them. So Odelia, I think I might be saying her name wrong. Um, where is she? 2011. Ah, here we go. Odelia. Let's see what I think. I love the hair, first of all. Um, beautiful color hair. The face prints on these dolls, I think all the 10th anniversary are really pretty. And they have, like, specific makeup for the masquerade thing. The dress is kind of... <laughs> um, she's not the most prettiest one in this line, in my opinion. The dress is kind of... So... In my opinion, she's not just no, but I'm definitely putting her as they wish. So I'm going to write her down. By the way, I'm kind of shorthanding this um, paper poster board thing. So when I show it, it's going to look kind of funky. Obviously, it's not photos because from the nature of this, it would have been very difficult. I would have had to go through a process of finding a photo and then obviously I had to put them in the corner here. But it would have been a lot more. I'm just saying. And I'm also not that great at certain things, so. But the next one is 235. So let's see who that is. 235 is, where's that at? Play Sports and Jim Yasmin. I think I remember this one. I literally, only for Fiona, the ballet one, I do not care for any of the sports ones. Like, she is literally the only one because her face is beautiful. She's one of my favorites. I've done photography for her on my Instagram. She came out to be one of my best photos I've ever done. So for all the other ones, like, they're completely forgotten to me. <laughs> like, I don't think they're bad, but they're definitely going into the they wish. Like, they're not enough to be just no, but forgotten to me, basically. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Okay. Next is 
53. Now we're getting lower. So 53 is Wintertime Wonderland Dana, which I did an unboxing of. So first edition too. Oh, I didn't put the second edition of this one because it's just literally the clothes rotated. So obviously I like her. She was one I really, really wanted to get because out of like all of them, she's my favorite. She's a beautiful purple. Like I like her clothes. Um, she's got a beautiful face. Dana, I think, is kind of one of my favorite dolls, too, in general, so I really just wanted to get her. Uh, the Winter of Time Wonderland, another one I really, really want to get is Sasha, because I love her blue and green mixture, but she is definitely a runner-up growl for me. Sorry this is a lot of cuts. I gotta, I don't want to show the whole process each time. It would be a little boring, but... Okay, next. 268. If I get any replicas, obviously, I'm just gonna redo it, so... 268 is, where is it at? Sweetheart Yasmin. Um, obviously all of them are the same. They are just different colors. Um, so, uh, they're kind of forgotten to me, not gonna lie. I think the only one that really stands out to me is Lily. Which, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I was just to say Lily, but I think it's Lily. But anyway, um, I'm going to say Forgotten. Okay, let's see again. Um, generate 453. When I was going through, I thought Princess was coming up, and I'm like, oh, yes. Oh, I love the Princess collection so, so much. 453 is... Where's she at? 453 is Nighty Night Sasha. as a second edition. Wait, before I freak out, because I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, I'm back. I found it. Um, okay, so Nighty Night Sasha. I mean, this line, I like her um, pajamas. It's still kind of like the silky, like, um, a little bit like lingerie style, but like, just not anything near its original or its predecessor, predecessor. To be honest, this whole line is kind of forgotten by me. It's not a terrible line, but it's going in the forgotten list for me. But I love her face, so she is quite beautiful, and I do love her pajamas. But this whole line for me is kind of forgotten, so. Okay, next is 570. We're pretty high up again. I had to sneeze. Um, 570 is, I think I might have to sneeze again. Forgive me if I keep cutting because my allergies are awful. 10th anniversary, Audrey, or Audrey. I have her. I think she's incredibly stunning. I love the red hair. Um, it's very long. It's kind of curly. Um, I like her outfit. It's kind of like businessy. Like, I think she's like very professional looking. She is kind of a growl for me, which I think it's kind of odd for me to have. I don't think many people have a 10th anniversary as a girl, but actually she is a growl for me. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting her as a girl. Okay, next one. Generate 245. 245 is play sports, Yasmin and Jade. Um, what I put for the other ones, they wish, yeah, as I said, um, all the sports ones are kind of that for me. Um, I think the teams are even worse, to be honest. <laughs> um, they have, like, the same outfits for each box, so I'm actually going to put them as just no. Again, some low numbers, please. 180. 180 is Wild Wild West Sasha, first edition. They had Sasha? I am like, wait a minute. Now I feel really bad I don't know that. Because I do have Wild Wild West. I have Fianna. Hold on one second. That's 2005, right? That is first edition. Hold on. So a lot of my experience with Bratz when I came back to it, like, I obviously had the Bratz I got as a child. 
And then I would go through and like see ones on eBay. I've never once in my life seen Sasha for Wild Wild West. So I did not know she was part of this collection. Obviously, I wrote her down. I had wrote 880, what, 887 brats. So it's kind of a lot to remember. Um, I love this collection in general. And Sasha, I won't lie, her outfit doesn't stand out to me the most from this collection. I think the most that stands out to me is Kiana. Um... I almost feel like she was an afterthought in terms of the outfits in the fact I'm not gonna say like when I was writing her down she kind of did get forgotten to me then because obviously I didn't remember or realize she was part of this collection so I'm gonna say forgotten we are on our 14th one and I'm hoping you guys don't hear any background noise right now because my new roommates are doing stuff but we are 577 Um, let's see. 577 is 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of Liliana. That's what I do remember. I think she's quite pretty. Um, kind of the same as the 10th anniversary in general, except for Audrey, who's obviously I put as a grail. I'm going to put her along with Lydia. So she's going to be third place. It took a minute to do some editing, so I will not continue. I'm also going to only do until 25 because um, it is going longer than I anticipated. So I will do this as a series if you guys like it. But the next one is 397. That is the movie Chloe. Um, I have her. I mean... I really don't like the dresses very much because of the glitter. I think they should have done a shimmering like texture pattern because the glitter gets everywhere and it's very hard to keep the dolls out of box. So, and they only come in one outfit. The only thing great about them was that they were the first articulated brats. So they were really cool to have for that so you could switch heads and stuff. But for me, they're kind of forgotten. So I'm adding her to the forgotten okay next is 479 as i said i think the next one i do i'm gonna cut it off at a certain number and then i'll just do the more beginning numbers but what was again 479 <laughs> um 479 is stylin yes yeah, been second edition i need to look that up okay i found her She's one of the, like, discounted dolls. Um, these are all, like, a no to me. <laughs> I mean, like, I guess I like the discount to give people an opportunity to get a certain doll. But I don't really know how much these were. And they're just so basic. And I feel like the Black Friday ones were original, at least. And were still a discounted doll. So, I'm not a big fan of these. So, it's a just no for me. <laughs> okay, we are on to the 17th one. We are at one. <laughs> okay, this one, I, um, Look and Bratz does their names in alphabetical order when doing the dolls. So it's first edition Chloe. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> I mean, the first edition is iconic. I think, in my opinion, because it is so well known. And I'm often one that's not into like mainstream popular things. It's kind of a third place for me. <laughs> um, I know that's kind of outrageous to say, but um, Chloe's not my favorite either. If I were to pick from like a higher up in that, it would be Jade. She would be like the runner up for me. But Chloe is definitely third place for me. 18. So. Next is 170. 170 is, let's see, Wanted Megan. I kind of forget about these dolls, but Megan in particular does stand out to me. I think she looks, first of all, this line is pretty risque. <laughs> um, and Megan is, I love her face paint. So I would put her as third place. On to 19th, it is 472. I love how I'm like, I need a lower number and it literally gives me one. But 472 is 
ex play extreme play sports extreme Dana and Cameron. I think I remember this one on top of my head, but all the sports ones are kind of <laughs> this one is just a just no for me. I'm not a big fan of the sports ones, as I said earlier. Oh, I forgot to say something. When I was talking about the teams, I said all their clothes were the same. Obviously, they would be if they're teams. What I didn't like is they had so many, like, variations. And I could have, like, Chloe's on two teams. Like, that's why I'm just not a big fan of it. So, this one, too, would be just no for me. On to the 20th is 339. 339 is... Let me go away. I did. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry. 339 is Pampered Pup Salon Style Chloe. Um, these are a just no for me. Mainly because Pampered Pups was pretty high up there for me. And this kind of just felt like a follow suit that was just far from the mark. And I always forget about these. And they're ones I don't really even want to get. But... If I want to get them all, I have to get them. So this one's a just no for me. Okay, we're on to 21. 120. I feel like we have that. Or 150. 120 is Hollywood style Dana. Wow, they're really good. <laughs> There's not much variation going on in this video. I'm kind of sad. But um, Dana is definitely one of my favorites from this Hollywood style line. Um... And I would go third place with her. I love the um, that she's not wearing a dress. She does stand out because of that reason. And she just looks really pretty. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure the outfit is a redo of Nevera's outfit from the formal hunk. So it's not really original, but she still looks really pretty. Okay, now we're on to 22, which is 623. Um, 623 is if i could find it 623 is platinum shimmers yasmin i'm gonna have to look that one up um it's uh, an idea <laughs> this one is obviously extremely forgettable um i would just say they wish i mean it's not the worst but it's not the best um i like the hair color um seeing yasmin and white hair is actually really nice with the purple but yeah i'm just gonna go with they wish <laughs> okay next is 617 and not really get much variation i apologize i will again adjust this differently next time on the mic chloe um yeah this one's also pretty forgettable to me i, I want to look at her really quickly she's in the same thing but um, pretty much this year was not a good one for me. Yeah, it is so basic. There's two different versions, though. I didn't notice that. Um, both versions are really plain. And I don't even know how well this thing works. So this one is a just no for me. We are on to the last two. The next generate is 865. And it would have been so weird if it was 888. Um, 865 is study abroad Megan. I, and this is the ones, the 2015 that everyone hates. I personally actually love them. And this study abroad one is super cool. <laughs> like, I personally, I already have the first five of the first edition study abroad, and then I have two for the second edition, and I really love them all, and Megan is quite adorable, and I really do want to get my hands on her, so I would, she, I would say she is a runner-up girl. I had to redo this, so I had 881, which was Holiday Felicia, and I thought it was very interesting that she came up. Um... I really, I love her screening. I think it's awesome that she's articulated. It gives more variation to like different bodies and people who are really like obsessed with like campfire or the sweet dreams can now like have articulated body for that, those sets. With that said though, MG was super lazy <laughs> copying Trinity's holiday outfits and just putting a little like fur thing around. Granted, giving yellow for the color of the dress looked stunning on her also, 
but they really could have made something different. I was just so like unimpressed. And so I'm happy she wasn't too expensive. I do got her. I didn't open her because a lot of people did openings of her and I just really wanted to open her. Still want to fix her hair. I've been working on that, but yeah, um, I just think they could have done differently. So, um, I would put her third place. I'm not like upset with her. Um, I do love her overall, but I just think again, they could have done a lot more with her. Especially because people, like, MGA knows Felicia is, like, highly sought. So I feel like they should have done something, like, should have gone a little more above and beyond for a doll that people are, like, really crazy about. So, I don't know. It was just, I'm very torn on it. But she is third place for me. So that was 25 random brats that was generated by a random generator from a very, very, very long list of brats. And as I said, I'm going to adjust it so I get some earlier ones for the next video. But thank you for joining me. If you really like the video, leave a like. And if you want to comment, I will like or reply to your comments. And if you want to see more videos, you're more than welcome to subscribe. And I hope to see you for my next video, which will be another unboxing. And it will be a brat style. So hope to see you. Bye.